lads and ladies and welcome to this now today we are back for another video now on my channel we rank league one we rank footballers top tens we do match day vlogs today we are ranking the people who kind of talk about football they love football and they go oh, he can do better he can do better well we, we're stuck to Sunday League and just being critical, which is the best thing to do. So we are ranking 21 different football vloggers from the Premier League to ground hoppers to non-league. So I'm just remembering fleet was timing, the non-league. Um, no, but very good vlogs in there. This has been so hard to do. We've got 21 different content creators. 21 that I really like is people and as vloggers. There is going to be a part two. So if we can get 75 likes on this one, we'll do a part two next week. And here are the different tier list names. Okay. Decent. Very good. These are high of the clem and the goat that you cannot get better than these on football vlogging the creme de la creme so very hard let me know where you'd put your vloggers in this tier list starting off with my mate door on tour lovely guy great to meet him i met him in august which was a great day out at nottingham forest and the thing i like about door his vlogs are very different to everyone else's he has interviews with his fans he goes on like to the pubs with his mates before the game and i really like that malk obviously carries his channel you know what i mean you won't like me saying that um like i say i, I really like door i think he's a fantastic vlogger he's funny he's got a great personality he gives good opinions he's honest he's truthful and not biased when Forrest have been awful he will admit that he does different kind of videos as well like the kit releases he'll now react to a signing and I really like that different content do where we're gonna put him I'm gonna go and put him in I think very good I think very good for door next up we have four nil written all over it good morning Andrew yes the old classic great guys great youtubers again not signed a vloggy style more interviews which I really like they get different people on each week and again the editing is superb always a good watch one of the first videos I always watch as soon as they upload I think I'm gonna put 4 nil written all over it in very deep I'm gonna put them in decent next up is the main man the mad mistake and if you haven't heard this guy honestly 20 minutes of just even rambling about Joey Barton every time we play him and to be fair funny watch funny guy and um, honest and to be fair great football knowledge good guy as well I think I'm gonna put him in I'm gonna put him in okay for now next up is Alex Griffin now Alex Griffin I like him that he does different videos got a good camera great editor as well his vlogs are always superb sometimes I think his interviews I think he does a, like 15 minutes 20 minutes before the game gets on and um, however I do like that and he asks different questions again good vlogger I really like his channel I'm gonna go for him I'm gonna put him in decent next up is Max um, the Lincoln vlogger a good guy as well we met him at Lincoln away back in August again good channel doesn't do many vlogs nowadays of Lincoln obviously living down south he does reaction videos and interviews which is very good i think he's got a future in that i'm going to put him with the mad mistake i'm going to put him in okay as well here he is loudmouth bsc morning three goal the main guy if you don't watch him honestly the best time to watch him sunday monday morning if you're feeling dull just get him on in when you go into school college work he'll cheer you up and he'll tell you how it is and always makes you laugh on the podcast that we do on a Tuesday night in Lee Charles TV link down in the description and again very good YouTube I find him hilarious very honest like I said before and for me he's got to go in the goat next up is Harvey SCFC now could you walk your suitor back in the bin no, we're only joking. He's got to go for me in very... I think he's going to go in decent because the thing is with him, he's very good at editing. Reese Bish, uh, Swans Away Days. Now, after his comments about me at the Football Blogging Podcast, again, in the bin some. Only joking. Again, good YouTuber. Um, if I'm being honest, a year ago, I would have put him in okay. Um, 
But I've been watching him a year now and I think his vlogs have massively improved. His watch alongs have improved. Uh, the quality of his editing has improved. And I'm going to put him again in decent with Harvey, Alex and uh, Fournil written all over it. Away days. Quality editing. Always so much goes into the editing. Always so much energy goes in. They'll go to like Asda and like rate the croissants, which again, I like those bizarre little things. Gibbs, um, again, add something to the channel as well. I like the way they go to non-league as well. They always go to different grounds where you don't expect it. I always watch it kind of on a Sunday to get me through a gym session as well. Um, very good, always funny. And for me, I'm going to put him in very good with door on tour. Oh, Norwich City. Now, again, great lads. And I must admit... Um, never, I've not watched much of their content, if I'm honest with you. I've only probably watched about two to three videos of theirs. And they've been okay, in my opinion. And some of the comments about Sheffield United last year, I just thought were a bit salty. However, the editing is okay. The videos, I, I don't want to put me in the bin. But the, 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 they're okay. And it's logged in. Cobbler's vlogs. Now, don't do don't do many vlogs anymore. They do sit down videos and like reactions and like I say, it's a joint channel cha joint channel now with him and his mate. I think it's Will. Um, they've done well. Uh, definitely got a future in football or journalism, whatever they want to do. Very talented. I'm gonna put them in okay. Lee Charles TV, unreal. Let's be honest. Editing superb. Vlogs brilliant. Different kind of videos as well. Jane, again, is a very good asset to the channel. Goes to the away games. Lee's brilliant at editing them. Gives the truth. Goes to different pubs, wrecks beers, etc. Gets different fans on. And always very honest. Does a podcast. Does a Saturday, Saturday, Saturday afternoon show. Does a Tuesday night quiz. So much effort goes into their videos. They deserve their own category. Let's be honest. Next up, Pompey Woman Vlogs. Now, a category that I'm not normally interested in, but again, good, good YouTuber, great guy. Um, really enjoy the videos. I think that improved ever since I've watched them. I've not watched too many just yet, but always very honest, good to watch. I am going to put him in. Okay. Next up is Reese Parsons. Again, I like him, good YouTuber, honest. Um, again, 2 1. Ian Doyle and you know up the Oldham etc um, but uh, always very good to watch always very honest goes to a lot of the away games captures the atmosphere very well I'm going to put him in very good Elliot Hackney has the best series on YouTube the week of football if you have not watched it it is comedy gold I am not being funny it is so so good I cannot recommend this series enough Superb, all these other videos, fantastic, editing, funny, engaging, brilliant, even though the plant does make his video, no, I'm only joking, let's be honest, GOAT. Sure and View, again, watched him when they were in League One, said very nice comments about me, which I really appreciate it, great humour, honesty, again, a bit like Dor, really like his humour with his mates as well, I'm going to put him in very good as well, in good Nick. In God, Nick, it should be called. Funny, hilarious, timing's again, really good. Editing is superb. You always get a good video out of him. Different, unique ideas as well. For me, he goes in that goat section. Myth on the road, yet back again. Brilliant, hilarious. The what I tell you what, rivals Elliot Hatney for the best series on YouTube. Again, always love to see where he's gone. 10, 12, 15 minutes of comedy gold. You just love to see it. Him and Charlie, for me, he's got to go in the GOAT section. I don't think you can get better than him, really, if I'm honest with you. I, I think he's superb, good guy. I love his weekly vlogs as well. Next up is Tyler Rowlinson. Now, again, a good YouTuber. Um, I first subbed, I remember collabing with him when he was on two, 300 subs. He's blown up this year. Again, good YouTuber, great editing. I've only seen a few of his videos this year. I saw a lot of him in League One. Again, I think he's okay. I think I still think he can improve a little bit. But again, he's improved massively in the last year, which I think he's gone from probably about a 4 or 5 out of 10 to a solid 8. 
Alexis Ramos is the final one, another Blackpool YouTuber. Again, very good in the North Stand. Not much more opinions, it's more game footage. I would like to see more kind of interview style. He did that, I think, for a few vlogs. I remember a bit like Lee does. Again, good, always at the ground. I like that. He always gets the atmosphere in, honest. I'm going to put him in decent again. I think that if he added maybe more before the game and maybe after the game, I think he could go up one. But again, a very good YouTuber and I really, really like him. So we have ranked 21 good YouTubers. Only my opinions, I know some of them may be behind for you. Just my opinions on what I think of their vlogs over the years. A lot have improved over the years and could easily be in higher categories. Sorry if I did offend you, but only my opinions. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to see a part two with more fantastic YouTubers, hit 75 likes on this one and we'll do that for next week. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Up the cards.